Good evening, folks. We're going to hit the CME Impact, the top story from this morning a little bit deeper, and a little something from Twitter. You are watching here the magnetosphere movie of the CME impact that occurred a bit ago. It was a moderate impact only, with the CME having been mostly directed away from the Earth. KP index is on the rise, but a level 1 geomagnetic storm is likely the most we're going to get out of this one. Watching the remaining sunspots for more. This morning's top story described that solar storm driven temperature fluctuations in the atmosphere had an impact on clouds. We've gone over several papers on the correlation, one of the best being this one out of Harvard about five years ago, identifying several temperature spikes during major solar storms. So let's dive a bit deeper into how that works. There are two ways that inclement solar activity increases atmospheric temperature. The first is a direct particle injection and excitement from the impact, which transfers from the ceiling of the global electric circuit in the ionosphere down through the atmospheric pressure cells. That would be the vertical component to the global electric circuit. The second way is indirect. We've spent a lot of time going over the solar particle ozone destruction, and this allows more ultraviolet light into the system. This one-two punch of joule heating and ozone destruction is the primary means of how the sun heats the atmosphere to excess above normal daylight heating levels. Now, in addition to this temperature impact having an effect on clouds, the solar storm itself is a magnetized plasma cloud that blocks out cosmic rays, and those rays tend to electrostatically attract water vapor and dust making for a two-part impact on the clouds. Another one. There are hundreds of papers on these relatively simple concepts, but all ignored by the mainstream climatologists. Lastly here, folks, I posted a video on Twitter today that would get my channel taken down if I posted it here. Even if you don't have Twitter, you can click the link below and watch the video. Would definitely appreciate the support for the post over there if you don't mind. I will see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.